This is the Uptick Newswire Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, and YouTube to stay up to date on penny stock news and interviews, public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world, with your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, I'm bringing you a brand new company. I'll tell you what. I am totally excited for them to be on my show. They came on my radar about four months ago when I've been trying to get this guy on my show ever since. We're talking about Blisco Cannabis Corp. They trade on the OTCQB. They just got uplisted about uh, two or three weeks ago. Uh, Their ticker symbol is HSTRF. They also trade on the CSE, the Canadian Stock Exchange, under the ticker symbol BLIS. And with us today, we're very fortunate to have him, is the CEO, Mr. Damien Cattlewell. Damien, welcome to the show. Thank you, Everett. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me on. You know, give my listeners a little bit of about statement of who you guys are, and then I want to get into some Q&A. Absolutely. Um, yeah, Blisco is a cannabis uh, wellness-focused company. We're based in, in Vancouver, B.C., and we're focused on our patients, uh, their health, and, and their wellness. Um, and so we're, uh, we're really focused on our patients and their long-term wellness journey. Uh, we, uh, we cultivate and we source premium cannabis uh, grown uh, currently in indoor facilities in Canada, and we are a licensed producer uh, in Canada uh, called Blisco Cannabis Corporation. So my name is Damien Kedwell, and I am the, the founder, the chair, and the CEO. Uh, and uh, we are earned our, our license uh, to produce in March 2018. That uh, produced dried cannabis, and then we earned our license to produce. Uh, we learned a license amendment uh, to produce cannabis oil in August 2018. Um, and uh, very exciting that uh, we have had our, uh, as per our most recent press release, we have had our pre-sales inspection from the good folks at Health Canada, and we're uh, projecting uh, November to have our uh, sales license in, in November, uh, and we'll start our re- we'll start revenue in November. The company, the corporation, is actually five years old this month. It's been a long journey, long licensing road here in Canada, but uh, we're just getting to the start of the, uh, the we're getting to the the start of the of the uh, the first inning right now with revenue coming, and uh, we're uh, really excited to uh, to tell our story and to get our word out there. So thanks for having us on. October seventeenth is that going to be a special day up there in Canada? It is going to be a special day. You know. I think uh, you know, for someone like myself, I've got a background in business, but as well, uh, the the cannabis plant has always uh, played an important part uh, in in my life, and in, in uh, really started to understand the medical benefits of uh, medical cannabis about 20 years ago, actually, and organized uh, a couple of small events in in Vancouver to support uh, the the medical cannabis awareness campaign, um, and so it go, it go do go back a couple of decades, uh, and so it's really nice to see. Um, our federal government uh, lead the world and we're the first G7 country to uh, to legalize cannabis. And so, you know, Blisco is primarily a medical-focused company. We're focused on selling directly to our patients, to direct-to-consumer. Uh, we are focused on exporting some of our product uh, in bulk, uh, bulk package product. And then as well, we're focused on the, the recreational, the legalization market. And so we are primarily, Blisco is a distribution and, uh, and a value-add product company. And so we're uh, we hit, we're meeting with BC government last week, and we're confident that we're going to develop a strong partnership with them and, and bring to them some value-add products that will be uh, on the shelves uh, likely in uh, in early January. You know, Damien, I've had 50 to maybe 150 CBD, cannabis, cannabinoid companies come on my show over the last couple of years. What makes your company so unique in the market space? Well, you know, with, with a couple of things, we've got some really strong partnerships. So uh, we're closely aligned with Supreme Cannabis Company, and so they invested $3 million in our company in February in uh, February 2018. Uh, we, we went public and started trading on the Canadian Securities Exchange in March. So we have a strong partner in Supreme Capital Company, and we have a 3,000-kilo a supply agreement. As well, we have a very strong partner in, uh, in another licensed producer. There's 118 licensed producers in Canada uh, called a Green Sea as a second, um, chronologically our second uh, key partner. And we, um, we are, um, we have the, you know, the, the ability and the, uh, we're fortunate to be able to uh, purchase uh, 2,000 kilos from them uh, plus trim over the next two years. 
so there's two supply partners, uh, and then the number three is a Namaste Technologies. And so Namaste is a, uh, is a technology uh, cannabis-focused company. They're a licensed producer as well, and they uh, and they're, have licensed us their telemedicine app for three years. And so we're going to have a uh, a telemedicine app that our patients can download and then do a video conference and then have uh, and have pay- and have, end up having medical cannabis delivered right to their door. And there's three, currently 330,000 Canadians that are uh, that are federally registered uh, medical cannabis patients, and so uh, we can work with them and then attract additional patients as well. So the combinations of strong supply partners and then strong technology partners, uh, where we're going to be launching in November our uh, new brand website, an e-commerce website, and that'll have uh, artificial intelligence. And, and machine learning incorporated into into the site uh, due to our relationship with Namaste, uh, and then as well we're launching a uh, our telemedicine app in November and launching our updated investor site in November as well. So the wind is really at our back, uh, Everett, and we really feel that uh, we are uh, an undervalued company, um, and we're going to be taking the market and get a lot more aggressive out there and telling our story over the next few months. You know, right now you guys are pre-revenues, but you just secured a sales license. What is that going to do for your company and, and, and the offering that you have? Well, we, we are pre-revenue. We will, we're projected to earn our sales license and have revenue in November. Um, and so that is really going to to set us up for success. I mean, I have a background in, in controlled substance and on the retail side and, uh, and uh, you know, really – you know, really, you know, really excited to be able to generate some strong revenue uh, in regards to thing with our patients and international. Of course, Canadian federally licensed companies can earn export permits from our federal government and export, and then as well on the on the recreational side. So just. You know, we're just getting basically to the first inning here, uh, and first batter up, and uh, revenue is going to be, you know, is going to be coming in, and so we're really excited to be one of the to, gem- to generate some of the strongest revenue from any licensed producer in the first year to date. That's uh, really what our goal is, and we have some very strong uh, projections and strong a lot of structure as well. And due to my experience in business. We've been able to put in place a strong organizational structure and a strong strategic planning session, and we have you know, incorporated the Rockefeller and the scaling up methodology into our uh, to our planning of our businesses. And so we're really, really building the foundation to, uh, to build a long, uh, long-term, sustainable brand, and that's um, that's what we're going to do. You've been listening to uh, Damian Cattlewell. He's the CEO of Blisco Cannabis Corp. They trade on the OTCQB under the ticker symbol HSTRF. They also trade on the CSE under the ticker symbol B-L-I-S. So what's next? Where do we go from here? So next up in November, we'll be selling uh, medical can- dried medical cannabis. And then we are projected to have our oil sales license to start selling oil tinctures and sublingual sprays and capsules in January 2019. Um, and then we're going to be executing work um, as well. We have our European inspectors coming in December. So we'll have our European GMP certification. And Everett, I'm not sure how much exposure you've had to, to European GMP standards, but they're, you know, they're very, very, very high uh, standards. And there's eight licensed producers in Canada that have, there's eight uh, facilities in Canada that have European GMP certification. And we're uh, probably going to be around number 10. And so that'll really add a lot of value to the company where we can move product uh, where it's going to be, uh, you know, what's going to provide us to make the best, most business sense for us to sell, whether it's domestically to patients, internationally, or dealing with our provincial governments and supply agreements there. So we're, uh, we're going to get things tied up with the BC provincial government, and then we'll be moving to Alberta and Saskatchewan and basically move east. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, there's a lot of milestones uh, that, we've ha- that we've hit, uh, and we're going to be one of the faster companies to earn a sales license, uh, and uh, definitely... The windows are back, and we're uh, we're really focused on getting our story out there. So exciting times! What would you like my listeners to take away from this interview before I let you go? Absolutely, I would uh, I would encourage uh, listeners to to look at uh, what we've uh, what we said we were going to do and what we did do, um, and and really look at our track record of success in hitting licensing milestones. And based on that success, I do believe we're an excellent investment for any of your investors who want to buy a company that's currently trading at around 36 cents American on the OTC under the uh, the, the stock symbol, uh, stock trading symbol HRST. Uh, HRST. Sorry, excuse me. On our st- stock trading symbol is HSTRF. Uh, uh, and so this, you know, being able to get in at 36 cents uh, when we're just about to start generating revenue, there's an excellent opportunity there. And we look forward to expanding our, our uh, investor base in the, in the uh, lovely United States of America. I want my listeners to take a look at the company. I think it's another no-brainer here. I think they're just getting ready to ramp up, getting ready for their big yield curve line here. Uh, I see this stock 
much, much higher than this as soon as they uh, hit revenues. Damien, I want to thank you for coming on the show. It was a pleasure to have you on here. I wish you nothing but continued success. I hope you come back on the show in about 50 days and give us an update behind the scenes and what's going on with your company. Thank you very much, Everett. It's been a real pleasure to be on, and uh, thank you so much, and I uh, look forward to uh, to engaging with your investors. Uh, please check out our website at uh, www.blissco.com, and uh, feel free to uh, to reach out to us, and we look forward to speaking with your investors and your, 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 uh, your listeners. This program is entirely sponsored and produced by Uptick Newswire, LLC, which is responsible for the content. The opinions and information provided on this program are those of the guests and those of the respective companies they represent and do not necessarily reflect those of the staff or management of Uptick Newswire. Uptick Newswire encourages all listeners of this program to do their due diligence and research when determining investment strategies that will work for them or to seek the assistance of an investment professional. The guests of this program may have paid for its distribution and are not directly affiliated with Uptick Newswire or the station.